Welcome in. It's 2024, apparently. Happy New Year, etc. Welcome. <laughs> Melchie, congrats on the first first and congrats on having the most firsts in 2023. Forever immortalized in the Tales of His Universe Hall of Fame. <laughs> Oh man, I had the camera perfectly on Rigel and then she moved. <laughs> and yeah, congrats on also getting first first today. Ah, and Winnie found my new redeem. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Seb and Winnie. Congrats on being not first. Winnie, I hope you enjoyed your daily stargaze. <laughs> new redeem, new redeem, new redeem. Yeah, so it actually will track them. Uh, and so you'll see how many you you can type. Uh, I think it's um, exclamation point my stars and it will track um, all the stars you've collected. And then if you type in exclamation point most stars, it'll tell you the top five people who have the most stars. Stars. <laughs> Yay! And then you can make your own constellations. We'll have a craft night. It's gonna be great. Uh, I see your I see, Hex. Hello, welcome in everybody. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, tick, tick, tick. Not first stargaze, stargaze intro video. Am I winning? I'm about to be. Seb says we gotta roll the intro video. So welcome. you universe <laughs> do you want some cake i'm in danger oh come on munchkin i'm starving fucking feed me i'm doing great i don't like rooms with just a chair in it this is so sweet wait parkour parkour watch, watch out for that red thing watch out for it watch oh! out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're only 78% sure. Oh, it's a little bit low, but fucking send it for treatment anyway. This is a teaching hospital, so try your best. Oh, uh, what is that? What is that? What is that COVID-19 looking thing in the background? No, thank you. Here they come with their little wee-woo heads. Wee-woo, who wants to be a glimmyanolinaire? Wee-woo, wee-woo. I see her little face. Boop, nailed it. Oh yay! <laughs> Quote the intro video. That's the way to do it. <laughs> oh my goodness! I have a cool con lang. I think you'd enjoy. It's a language where all of the letters are little constellations, and you can like write in it for real if you learn it. It's amazing. Um, please share. That sounds so cool. As you know, I'm a big fan of anything space, so that sounds great. You had a wisdom tooth removed? Oh, chillin'. Ice cream? Relaxin'. Oy, 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 oy. Got my new over ear headphones today. There's so much bass in the intro now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, also, y'all, do you know, do you know what I have today? That's here in time. Look at my new shirt. Look at my fucking look at it. Look at it. Ugh. It's our wild shirt. Space. But also it's cold, so sweater. <laughs> it is an outer wild shirt. Just in time for me to just not know what I'm doing. <laughs> It's not spoilers. It is not spoilers. It's not spoilers. It's just, it's just the solar system. It's not spoilers. <laughs> I would never do that. You stop it. You know me well enough to know. <laughs> How did your stream go, Melchi, by the way? I saw you went on, but today was fake Monday at work and my boss was still out, so I was fake boss. So I was in all of his stupid meetings. <laughs> Wait, Outer Wilds is in space? Oh, shit. <laughs> no. No. I didn't say nothing. 
I said nothing. No spoilers. No nothing. This is pre pre talk. Safe pre talk. And the spoiler warning must come pre spoiler situations for friends in the chat who have not yet played this game, but will. Stream is fun. The engineer is the best kind of physics chick. I was intrigued, but I couldn't pull it up. I was doing stuff <laughs> in meetings. <laughs> Stupid meetings. Oh man, I don't want to talk about work. Don't no, fuck that. <laughs> We're gonna talk about video games. Games only. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming. Oh no. Go away, sneeze. Go away. Stop it. No. No. Oh, should I put space earrings on? I should have put space earrings on. Which, which one should I wear? Maybe the one with the spaceship and the astronaut? How about these? I'll do these today. Oh, camera, work with me. Nope, this way. Yeah! They're cute. They're cute! Where should I post about it? Oh, you can throw it in general. Really, anywhere. Anywhere is go. I really feel like this guy should be on the other side, though. Oscar! Stargazing! Congrats on not being first! Your first star! Everybody's first star! You found the new redeem, Oscar! Thank you so much! Stargaze! <laughs> Thank you for the 8 month resub! Oh! Whitney's my favorite dancing emote. Mm, 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 mm. It's so cute! I want a dancing emote so bad! It's on the list. It's on the list when my artist has some time. I want one. <laughs> I want one so much. So much. Okay, wait a second. I gotta look at this language. This is important. <gasps> what? Oh, it's like a video. Alright, hold on. This is important. I gotta look it up. I got- ah, go away. Ah, go away! Yes! I'm a person. Stop. Oh my god. Why do you need to verify? I'm not a robot. I just want to look at it. Oh god. Where's the guide? I, I needed to I need look at it! <laughs> I need it all on a piece of paper! Oh. All right, play. Play now. Show show me. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, what a neat idea. The video link is in the Discord. By the way, What the heck? Whoa. That is such a neat idea. I quite love that. <laughs> Let your heart tell you where the star should go. Oh man, I need like a whole, I, I want like a, like a, I need the thing at the top that you can't really see, that shows what all the letters are. I love that! That is really cute! How come they don't have a link with the thing? The comment from- oh, I- I- I don't see it in the comment. It just says here's a guide, but then there is no guide. <laughs> it's a lie! Need the intro video script at this now? Just scrolling in the background? Oh! Whoa. Oh my gosh, I just want to see that show. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh no, it doesn't have a link. Okay, I gotta look at this later. 
I gotta look at it later because I'm getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. That's a cool idea though. I love that. Having just finished playing a game about languages that are symbols, uh, highly recommend Chance of Sinar to anyone who hasn't played it though. Fantastic game. I want to see the shape of Golem, you know what, air? <laughs> you know what? If I can find out, like, the full actual alphabet, I the Glimmy air is going to be a ridiculous constellation. It's going to be the full length of a page. <laughs> Glimmy air? <laughs> that super real word that I definitely said? <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, amazing! An overview. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> okay, I'll look at that later. Ooh, fun! Maybe I'll do some little doodles. I'll put them in the Discord if I do them. I will write out Glimmina Lanair <laughs> if somebody reminds me that I said I would do it. <laughs> oh, so fun! That is a neat idea. I love, like, symbolic language. I want to make stamps of them. I know. They're neat. What are you doing, Bum Bum? What are you doing down there? Getting in trouble? Yes. Yes. Ink stamps? Oh, was there a different kind of stamp that you meant? Rigel, hello. What are you doing up here? This is the wrong camera. No, you can't sit in my lap. I'm sorry. I'm trying to sit in my lap. <laughs> it's not a good time. <laughs> First one of these I found and fell in love with was called Green Rune. It looks like alchemy on a page. Ooh, oh, that's so cool. I love this stuff so much. People come up with some really cool systems. I also enjoyed that they did uh, legit pay attention to the ones in Chance of Sinar because I was able to figure out uh, other words based on the way that they used parts of the symbols. And I, I did a couple of times I did it sort of ahead of the game because I hadn't like learned enough in the game to make the guess. But because I had sort of like graphic designer, I picked apart the pieces of the symbol uh, themes, I guess you could say, and then like figured out like, at least the sort of general uh, idea of some of the words based on that, which is really cool. Hooray! Going to college and learning more about typography and letters than you ever needed to know existed about letters. I've applied it in games. <laughs> so I, I appreciated that they actually, it wasn't just like random, no, 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 baby. It wasn't just like a bunch of random symbols, like they actually thought about making it a language. You gotta leave your feces alone. We'll see how we do here tonight, guys. Rigel is so itchy. She keeps eating her feet like that. And I have to wait until Monday to get her the shot that helps with itchy. So we're toughing it out a little bit here. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. Lay down. Here, do you want to chew on this instead? I know you don't, but would you like to anyway? No. Don't lick your feetses. Don't lick your feetses. Lay down. Lay down. I can't rub your belly like that. I can't do it. I can't reach it. It's so scratched right here. <laughs> She's probably so uncomfortable. I hate it. I hate it. As a person with itchy skin, I get it. No, not the feetses, not the feetses. Oh, no worries, no spoilers. It's no spoilers, no worries. Oh, it's when I kind of lurked for that game because I really like the word language stuff. Yes, yes, do, do not spoil yourself for it. It's really fun though, highly recommend it. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. Finally, a real world use for college. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> True though. True though, I know, poor baby. The front leg on the other side, she looks like a bean. <laughs> she is my little bean. Aren't you my little bean? You my little bean. You're my little bean. Yes, you are my little bean. She is a little bean. I'm watching her because 
She has, you probably can't see it on the camera, but she has a tiny little bump on her back left leg that I noticed like two hours ago. So I'm hoping that's not the like precursor to a swelling situation. Awesome. So I'm just keeping an extra eye. Keeping an extra eye. Going to get some snacks. Get some snacks. Get those snacks. I should probably eat and take my meds. Do that. Eat the food. Take the meds. Your headphones are Bluetooth though? Ooh, so fancy. So you're good. Oh my god. My mom got me this sweater for Christmas. Sweatshirt sweater? I don't know. It's like the outside is this really soft material and then the inside is lined with fire. <laughs> It's so warm, which is awesome because I'm usually cold in the winter. And it is cold in here and I've turned the heat down some because of my insane electric bill. Um, and it's great. It keeps me warm, but then I get too warm. <laughs> I have to keep taking it off and putting it back on again. <laughs> Rigel Bean. She's a little beanie. Like a beanie baby. Here, do you want this one? We'll put it over here in case you want it. I don't think you do right now, but you never know. Did pick it up in the sale though. Heck yeah. And case of the golden idol. What is that? Hold on. What is it? Case of the golden idol. What are you? A mystery? A detective game? Uh, that's a heck of a first image on the Steam page, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is happening? Okay. Ooh. Yikes. Ooh, have I played Return of the Obra Dinn? I have not, but I have heard very good things about that game. It's another logic puzzle game, and it's so well done. Mm-hmm. Show you? Show you what? Show you what? Good girl. Good girl. I don't know what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Steam sale. It's the time. The heck of- Oh, I can't because I don't have my stream set up to capture- Uh... I don't have it set up for that. <laughs> So I can't, but if you look up that game on Steam, it'll be the first actual picture past the like video, intro videos. It's a, it's a, it's a heck of an image. Oh, I could put it in the Discord. Yeah, sure. I could do that. Hold on. I could do that. I could do it. It's just, uh, listen, not knowing anything about what this game was, I'm going to throw it in the game chats. There you go. <laughs> That's not terrifying in any way. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Clues around it. 12 strange and gruesome deaths. Build your own theory. Love it. Thinky mystery games. Mmm. Mmm. Love it. I'm so excited. I have so many new games. Cuz! See you your sale. <laughs> also Christmas. <laughs> Very excited about the new games. I've been playing the heck out of Power Wash Simulator to try to just... My brain. She's just taking a nap, right? Yeah, exactly. Just snoring, I think, is what's going on. Yes. Super just taking a nap. Definitely not gruesomely murdered in a box. On wheels. Fine. Don't worry about it. No problem. No problem. Oh my gosh. So, I love the idea of Power Wash Simulator so much. It's so relaxing. To just like, whoosh. You don't have to think. You just like put it on. Do the thing. 
but my hand cramps. <laughs> Even not holding the thing down, but just having to move the mouse so repetitively for so long. I have to like stop playing it after a little while. Also, I don't blink because I'm looking for that tiny little speck of grime that's keeping me from getting 100% of that piece of wall. <laughs> so, so my eyes dry up. <laughs> but in theory, I love it. I've played a lot of it. Played a lot of it. Gonna get all those achievements. It's exciting. <laughs> Power Wash suit is great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I just, I just got the uh, highest level power washer, so I'm pretty stoked to have an easier time. <laughs> it's just washing the harder to clean things. Good co-op too? Oh yeah, it does have co-op. It does have co-op. I feel like once I played through it, I'm down to co-op that game, but I feel like my initial run, I'm like, this is for me. <laughs> it's for me, though I could stream it a little bit. Like, I'd be okay doing that. I'd be okay streaming it as a little one-off situation. Did an eye moistener like in Clockwork Orange? Oh, I've never actually seen Clockwork Orange. I know of it, but I haven't actually seen it. Um, but I feel like, no. <laughs> Even not having seen it, I feel like the answer is no. I do have eye drops on my desk, which I have forgotten about until literally right now. I could have maybe used those. <laughs> but I didn't. But I didn't. Um, it's nice to be back. I feel like I've been away for a while. I was like in and out. Stuff keeps happening on stream, on stream night. Or whatever. Anything in reference to Clockwork Orange is a no. <laughs> yeah, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. The movie they had eyes propped open, but they... M moistener wouldn't be torture? What? I don't even know how to interpret that. <laughs> <sighs> but I feel like I was correct in my answer of I'm good. Oh my god, I have so many new games in my Steam. Outer Wilds isn't even on my recent games list. Because <laughs> I didn't get to play it last week. Uh, Okay, that's fine. I'll just go get it in here. Beep, 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 beep. Nope, not in here. That's the wrong. Click it, click it, click it, this one. Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. Y'all, I did 39 games. 39? 100% last year. Are you eating the blanket, Rigel? I mean, you're allowed to rip that because that's your blanket, but can you just not eat it, though? What are you doing, ma'am? How about how about this thing? Would you like this instead? Hi, are you doing okay? You're kind of like in a weird vibe tonight. A sweet bean. Thank you. Weird. Uh. I watched that movie at way too young of an age, so I don't remember that much, but all I can think of is them using milk as eye moistener. Which I know isn't true, but that's where my brain goes. Oh no. <laughs> uh, she's in destructo mood. That's a lot of game. I know. I know. It was almost 40. <laughs> which is a huge uh, I mean that is most of the games I have 100 percent in was last year. <laughs> How do I have the energy? It's because, it's because, well, first of all, they weren't all long games. Some of them were, but some of them were reasonably short. And some of them I had gotten some achievements on before and came back and finished it. You know. But it's so fun to get the achievements. It's like a nice little think in my brain that feels good and I'll take them or I can get them. <laughs> So I don't get them from everywhere. You know? It gives me the drive. It gives me the drive to do it. Ma'am. Don't eat it. Chew this. That's what it's for. Chew that. Don't 
eat your blanket. <sighs> she eats everything. <laughs> oh, she can come snuggle with me and I'll gently rub her itchy feet. Thanks. Ma'am, ma'am, no. Stop. Do your own blanket then. Stop eating every blanket. You can only have yours. Okay? Thank you. Oh yeah, yoy. The milk was laced with Ooh! Drugs! Oh my god. Your eye? Oh no, thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh okay. <laughs> I've almost 100 percent blue fire and I'm excited for it. Hello! Amazing! But the last things I have to do are these platform challenge things. You can do it! You can do it! I can't finish the achievements on Saints Row because I'm just abysmal at one of the mechanics. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I need somebody who's good at platforming to come over and beat that part for me. <laughs> you, need, <laughs> you need a paparito. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's like a little puppy flatbread. <laughs> come visit me and beat some video games for me. <laughs> Challenge 2024. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna murder that challenge so hard. Don't even worry about it. No problem. Achievement unlocked. Hi. What's your deal? You've been kind of in a weird mood all day today. So we'll see how we do today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're gonna try to play for a little bit. Because god damn it. <laughs> We're going to the Outer Wilds, god damn it. My partner got to the first big boss of Blue Fire and put it down. <laughs> oh no. I'll eventually beat it for him so he can continue on. I don't know what Blue Fire is either. Is that something that you were streaming? Because I don't remember that title of that game. Uh, I don't look at it. I don't look at it. What is it? Open. Ah, you played it offline. Oh, wait, I've seen this character, though. I don't know the game, but I've definitely seen that character before. Or do I? I may have looked this game up in the past, or it was, I don't know, somewhere I saw this, because I recognize that little guy. Eat my blanket. <laughs> Eating her blanket. Great. He bought it for himself. He always makes me try stuff first. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right, Joel. See, now I have to watch her because if she gnaws off part of that, she'll swallow it. That's the problem. If she just chewed on things and spit them out, I wouldn't care as much. If it was her things, you know? I'd buy her a million toys if she just ripped them up and spit them out. But she doesn't. She rips them up, but then she eats them. And she swallows them. And that's not a good thing. She's in power chew mode right now. Um, right. Baby. No, take a break. Take a break, little bean. That's it. Oh, you already ripped this blanket? <sighs> <laughs> I swear to God. No, don't eat that. Don't eat it. Here, eat this. I have this like fra fabric frisbee thing that is made of like a stronger, more durable material. 
But she, and I always try to like substitute it when she starts chewing on blankets, but she never wants to chew on that. <laughs> Don't eat my blankets. What are you doing? You want this one instead? What's this? Are you gonna let me have a stream tonight? Because I'm feeling like you're not. What's this? You want it? I'm surprised you don't want that. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, if you want to chew, chew on a chew toy. That's why we have them. Oh my goodness. Jeez Louise. It's hilarious because he used to get me back into playing games when we first got together. Oh. <laughs> We played Prince of Persia together. That was that. Welcome back to games. <laughs> there we go. Good girl. Okay, we're going to see what we can do here. We're going to see if we can get into it. Y'all, here is your spoiler warning. We are going into the Outer Wilds. Where did it go? Why is it not here? What? Why is it the heck? Why was it not in my puzzle game list? <laughs> You're a puzzle game. It counts. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I fixed it. It's fine. <laughs> I look so sad. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I found it. It's okay. It was hiding. It was not where it belonged. How puzzling. Why do you like this, Outer Wilds? Why do you like this? Oscar, did you see my shirt? Or was that before you got here? Right. No. Just eating the blanket. Rigel. If I knew you weren't going to swallow the end of this once you chewed it off, I would not care. Deadly. You didn't see it? Okay, okay, okay. I got my new shirt! <gasps> shirt! Yeah! <laughs> Outer Wild shirt! Yeah! Rigel! Please! Baby! Please! 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 Stop! Take a break! You have two chew toys in here. What am I supposed to do with this blanket right now? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna do some pasta to chew belly right off the bed. You okay? You know this? Okay. <gasps> an unofficial one? It is an unofficial one. It's a fan art that somebody made. It's neat, though. I liked it. It's a little bit small. Actually. It's like a large and it should have fit, but it's like a little bit tight. Ma'am, you leave those feet alone. Please. Mm. The solar system seems lumpy somehow. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Just a little. Sometimes space be like that though. Gravity and stuff, you know? Does Doggy Benadryl do anything for her at all? Uh, nope. <laughs> so I know having to wait on meds is no fun. I know. I have a feeling the answer is no. It is. Unfortunately. It does nothing, <laughs> nothing. I have to go, the only thing that I've found that works for her when she gets itchy like this is an injection. So it's not even like a medication that I can like pick up at, 
you know, from a pharmacy or even from the vet or like order on Chewy or something, it's an injection medicine. So like, I have to go to the vet to get it. So, was like antihistamine cream work? Nope. Nope, can't put that on her. Oh, uh, ma'am. Absolutely not. That is not a chew toy. That is your water dish. Or one of many. I'm sorry. What would you like? A ball? I need to get her something else. I don't know what it is. Is it intramuscular? Uh, actually, I don't know if it's intramuscular or just uh, subcutaneous. Uh, I, I don't know. But I don't, like, I can't just get that medication. Like, I have to go to the vet and they have to give her an injection. The only way. Her dog eats her paws as well, but there isn't much we can do because we're pretty sure it's just the damn grass. But during the spring, her little eye swells up and she gets a doggy Benadryl. As long as it works for her, then that's great. I've also started wiping Rigel's feet down. I bought some like microfiber cloths that I just spritz with water and I just literally wipe her feet down every single time <laughs> that we go outside. Um, yeah. Most shots for animals you can just buy. I don't know if you can buy this medication. I guess I haven't looked. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, I do give her subcutaneous injections of the other specialized allergy medication that is clearly not yet helping her in any way. Um, so I do that. I vaccinated all of our pets for everything but rabies. Oh, really? You can just get like the sort of regular vaccination stuff and just do it at home? Rabies is only because it has to be logged with the municipality. Oh yeah, they do have to like keep a record of rabies stuff. I know she's got like the, cause they give them the tags and stuff. Oh, it's called, I'll send you a message so I can type it out for you. Um, I didn't know about that. I didn't know you could just do that at home. But if it's a subcutaneous injection, I already know how to do those because I, that's what I do for her already with the other, She's on this like special allergy medication from the like allergy fucking medication company that they mix her like a custom formula. Like they're the ones who do pet allergy testing. Oh, this baby. <laughs> they, yeah, we're just gonna have a Rigel time here for a minute. Um, so we did the like actual allergy testing and then that company like mixes her up a custom formula vial of stuff. And I have to give that as a subcutaneous injection. We've done 11 or no, 11 of them so far. Um, so I'm getting practice at doing that stuff. And I feel reasonably comfortable with it, though we're still sort of like getting our routine down because she's starting to get really curious about what I'm doing. And so she's starting to like move to like look and see what it is. Um, which led to one mishap <laughs> where she kind of walked out of the injection, mid injection. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. We're doing okay. Yeah, sub cues are pretty easy. Yeah, 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 it's true. They're not they're not terribly difficult and she does really well with that stuff. So she's easy. How you doing there, ma'am? You're stuck in the you stuck in the gap of the cushions. Okay. Do you think farmers of a vet shoot all the animals? Oh, going to do it yourself? Well, I mean, I also feel like farmers are maybe a more specialized case than just like your average pet owner <laughs> since it's like part of their job but I mean I know there are farm vets and stuff but obviously I guess I don't know I guess I never really thought about what happened to animal injections like on farms I don't know I know that vets do go out to farms but I guess not for that stuff I don't know I don't know I know he's like would you be interested oh intramuscular shots would you be interested in sub -Q? There's been some new research with it and they thought he'd be a good fit for it. Turns out 
He's seen a lot of improvements versus the intramuscular. Really? Interesting. I don't know. I guess it depends on the medication. I don't know. I'm not a doctor or a scientist. I don't know enough about that shit to have an opinion. <laughs> I just do what they tell me. <laughs> yeah, but you're not average. No, I'm not average. <laughs> That's true. That's right. You're a superstar. Of course. Rigel. Come on. She's killing me. I'm never going to get this game open today. It's not going to happen. Right. Man. What are you doing? All right. Let me go and get a different toy and see if like that will entertain her for a little bit. We're going to try. It's been so long since I've played. I want to play. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. We're trying. <laughs> We're trying. What's this? What's this? You want some fabric? Rip that. Because there's no rip in it. Yeah, what's this? What's this? Now you want to play? She is on such not the same schedule as me at all. <laughs> No, not interested. But if I'm busy or it's like first thing in the morning when my brain is not awake, she's like, yes, how about we play now? And then I'll try to play with her. And then she's like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she just really wants to rip something right now. So I still have to keep an eye on her. She's kind of ripped up this rope pretty good. I don't want her to eat a bunch of strings. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Rigel. Hey, don't power chew the rope, ma'am. Uh, this was a mistake. I have this. How about you just chew on this side? Please? I cannot win. I cannot win. Right. Oh, you found it. Which is Loki plus veterinary plus monoclonal antibody. The name it's the mischievous dog medicine 
Fry. No, see, that's the part that's a problem. Because she's a dum-dum. I love her, but she's a dum-dum. And she'll just eat it. And if she eats too much of a thing or too big of a piece, because it's not like she'll chew them all up and eat a bunch of small pieces that'll pass through her system and so, like, it's annoying, but whatever. No, she'll eat, like, a huge piece and then it'll get stuck in her system and then that is emergency surgery. And I have told her many times we are not doing that. No, thank you. Because you know what? Emergency dog surgery is very fucking expensive. <laughs> Ask me how I already know that. <laughs> We're not doing it. Okay? She wanted a ball. She wanted a ball. I brought two balls. What the? Oh, she's not having it at all. Not having it at all tonight. Oh my god, I'm so afraid to open the game up. <laughs> I'm so afraid! We could try. I could get her to be interested in one of these toys and she's looking for stuff to get in trouble. She's in a mood right now. <laughs> a mood. M-O-O-D mood. You want this? It's new! Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you so much! Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you! Big yawns! Big yawns! Just leave that right there! Those ears! <laughs> I know! She's a cutie, patootie! She's a cutie. And try to like blind fix the camera. How bad? It did a baby. She is a baby. A baby. You a baby. Killing me. <laughs> Driving me to an early grave. <laughs> Love her so much. Baby. But this baby. Oh, just so sleepy. Weren't you in that toy? You don't have to go to sleep. Side of Point isn't currently available for sale outside of Vets Office. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought that's what I thought. Thank you for looking though. Abiquil is I know. Abiquil is so expensive and also does not help her. <laughs> That's another common one that people use for dog itchy. I know it's a pill. I've, I've given it to her before and it did not help. <laughs> it did not even help. Um, my friend's dog takes Apoquil on the regular. It's like 250 a pill. Yeah, it's a lot. It's an expensive medication. And so in one sense, I'm sort of glad that it doesn't help, but also not I really like I don't want her to be suffering. I want to get rid of her suffering. If that was the cost, I would have to pay it. But I mean, instead I'm paying her for these other fucking custom allergy injections that are hundreds of dollars. So, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't think those are helping her yet either. And they told me it could take up to a year to even know if the like sh allergy shots that we're doing, that is like a tiny little vial, it's like $300 for like a tiny little vial. The Apical would be cheaper overall. I mean, it might. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. If if she stays on this injection medication and it helps her, the doses get weaned down. So you're only doing one dose a month. It's expensive, way more expensive at the beginning, but it's less expensive later is the thing. Um, also, we tried Apical. It doesn't help her. <laughs> We've done Abiquil. We the only other thing that we've done Benadryl. We've done a million things. The only thing that has had any effect on her um, has been Cytopoint, but that doesn't last. It only works for a little while. Do not jump up here. No. She's in one of those moods right now. She's in a feisty little troublemaker mood. 
Oh, if you're giving one Apoquil a month. Oh no, you'd have to give the Apoquil much more frequently than that. It's just the injections are once a month. Oh man. Cytopoint is supposed to last four to eight weeks. Right, exactly. And it does. And the Cytopoint, she doesn't, she hasn't been on Cytopoint like year round. It's just like every once in a while she gets these itchy sort of flare ups. And then the Cytopoint really helps with that. Yeah. Oh, get the ball. <laughs> yeah. Get the ball. What are you doing? What are you doing being so cute? What are you doing being so cute like this, though? She is in troublemaker mood. I get bitchy, but I'm bitchy too. Yeah. I. Same. I mean, I get it. I super get it. I have itchy skin all the time. I have eczema and stuff. That's what all those things are on my face. It's just like stupid things. And then I have a picking habit from having eczema because it's itchy. <laughs> so I have a scratching habit. And so anytime that I like have anything, I just can't help myself. <laughs> and I just scratch at them, even if they're not itchy now. I used to only scratch if it was itchy. Now I also scratch if it's not itchy. I get it though, because it sucks to be itchy. That's why I feel so bad. Because I literally understand. <laughs> but the soonest they could get me in was Monday. So we have to hold out until Monday. It always happens like over a time that's silly. Have I tried for for me or for Rigel? <laughs> <laughs> for Rigel, yeah. Um, we have done prednisone. In fact, we do prednisone regularly, once a month, not once one dose, but one course. Roughly once a month, every time she has a big flare up, that's what we use. But obviously prednisone is not great to be on long term because it's steroid. Also, prednisone has the wonderful side effect of making her thirsty as fuck. And then she will binge drink water and then pee all over my house. Right? So going over there to get in trouble. What are you doing? Oh, okay. You can go over there. That's okay. But don't think you're gonna hide over there and chew your feet just because I can't like directly see you. You've had to take it for an ear infection? I've taken prednisone ever. I feel like when I was younger, I, I've taken it because I knew the name of the, I don't know a lot of like medication stuff, but I did know the name of that one when we did it. I'm sure I took it for an infection of some, I don't know, maybe an ear infection, maybe something else when I was younger and she does take that, but it's not good for her to be on it long term. And that's partially why we are doing this other allergy medication is supposed to be so that we can stop using prednisone. Mm. And also different feces and calamine lotion. Yeah, except she'll eat it. <laughs> she'll eat it. I tried to get different like dog booties to take to put on so that she's not even like touching the grass outside with her feet all the time. Um, but I've tried like three and I have a pair of like winter dog boots, but um, uh, I was like, I wanted something that was like easier to get on and off and maybe was like a little less intense so that she's not like sweating in them since dogs sweat through their feet. Um, Right. But she's tough to get boots for because she, her paws are really big. Like they spread out really far, but her legs are really toothpick skinny. So anything that's big enough for her feet just slides off of her legs. Tricky. It's tricky. What if you make the vet appointment before she's itchy? I can't. She's not itchy with regularity. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know till it's happening. I can't put socks on her because she will eat those. <laughs> this is the problem. <laughs> I appreciate the ideas. I've done all of these or can't do them. <laughs> because she'll eat them is the, is the conclusion of most of our issues. Like, oh, just put socks on her. Nope. Can't. She will eat the sock whole and then lick all the lotion off. And then she'll have a full sock in her tum-tum, and I'm not doing that again. <laughs> she'll 
She already ate one of my socks? A full sock. She did not chew it up. She ate it whole, swallowed a full sock. Which is obviously bad. <laughs> and fortunately, I was able to make her throw it up. <laughs> because that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. I had a ferret that would steal all her socks out of the laundry and hide them under the couch. Yeah, but they weren't eating them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god she's a bubble wrap doggo yeah, yeah exactly when i had called the vet or when they called me with her allergy results they were like i've never seen a, a like results it's like two pages the results from the like allergy test and they were like i've never seen two pages be completely read before ever <clears throat> you need a bubble <laughs> put her in a bubble I was like, great. Okay, if that wasn't an option, <laughs> what do you suggest that I do? So now every single time we go out to pee or go for a walk or go around the whatever, I literally have to wipe her feet down. Or if she rolled in the grass, I have to wipe her whole body down. It's like a little sponge bath every time. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can do it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I know. She is a bubble dog. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I also don't like her being itchy. You know? I get it. I empathize a lot. I'm itchy. I understand. It sucks to be itchy. She needs a little puffy spacesuit. Yeah, she does. <laughs> At least she's chewing a toy, not her leg. Exactly. Exactly, yes. That's what I want her to chew. That's what I want her to chew. I'm worried she's still in a little bit of trouble mode, but we're gonna try. We're just gonna try. Otherwise, this is just gonna be a chit chat stream, and that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> Get her dog pants. I did actually ask the vet if uh, if it would help. I'm I am not the kind of person who puts clothes on my pets. I mean, I might do it for like a costume to take a picture or something like that. Like for Halloween, put a little hat on them or put a little thing on them, whatever. Like that, that's fine. But people who like dress their dogs in clothes, like I don't, I'm not, it's not. <laughs> I'm not the, that kind of person. But I did ask them, I said, well, would it be helpful if I like got her like a dog onesie or like a doggy shirt or something that would like protect her somewhat from like being outside that i see you don't go in there leave it come on um but they said it's it's not really going to make a difference like that because most of it's going to be on her feet anyway. And they were like, just wipe her feet down when you come in. But I would have gotten her... Ah, excuse me. That's my handkerchief. You cannot eat that. What are you doing? Hi. Like fishing waders <laughs> for puppies. Costuming pet is different. Yes, yes, is different. But I would have gotten her doggy clothes if it would have helped. Her, I would have absolutely dressed her up in a little doggy onesie or whatever if that would have helped her. 100%. I would have done it. Make her walk through a bathing system. <laughs> oh, man. She's a, she's a challenge. She is a challenge, baby. Here, do you want me to put these up here so you don't have to lay in them? Okay. Okay. You're not gonna let me do this today, are you? Killing me. She's not gonna. Do I still have springy antennas? What do you mean? What's what antennas? What springy antennas? Oh, a doggy onesie with little springy antennas? Oh, okay. Rigel.
Don't eat that pillow. Oh! Are we gonna relax now? We get it out of our system? Never. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so cute. It's so cute though. Oh. D get for for her, she would they would be destroyed in about three seconds. <laughs> about three seconds. They'd be gone. Hi, Papa. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, for me! For me, do I have them? I No. I don't know that I've ever had little antennas. But, I do have a fun new hat that I will be wearing on Friday. It's a fun hat. It's a really fun hat. <laughs> For reasons. And if I can prevent Rigel from eating it, it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm so excited. So Friday is going to be a new Friends Forever Friday. Since we did beat the game that we were playing at the end of last year. Uh, so no, because it's going to be day. It's it, it is relevant to Friday. I can't wear it now. It has to be debuted on Friday because of a lot of reasons, and one of which being that Melchie Melch, who is joining me for Friends Forever Friday for this new game, also has a hat. <laughs> right, Bill? What are you doing? What are you doing back there where I can't see you? I am. A what are you doing? Come here. Or get this ball. You didn't want it. She never wants it. <laughs> she never wants it when I want to play. And see, now that I've given up and sat down, she went over to go get it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Whoops. How you doing there, bud? Did you miss? Come here. Come here. Did you try to jump up here and, and miss the couch? Oh, it rolled under the couch. Melchie Melch will be joining me for a brand new game on Friday. We are playing a very cute game called Bread and Fred. And that's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> but I'm very excited about our hats. But that's Friday. Not today. Not gonna let me. <laughs> I am never gonna play this game again. <laughs> Do not eat my pillow. Ma'am. Sure. It's fine. Make a mess. <laughs> Destroy the whole couch. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep, that's fine. Just don't eat it. I can't. <laughs> I quit. She she dig. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and what she's gonna do now is she's gonna accidentally wrap up her chew toy in that blanket and then she's gonna chew it like this through the blanket. Rigel. 
Do you remember when I had this whole toy out here? Drop it. And now she doesn't want it anymore. She only wants it in the blank. Because she loves to chew fabric. She loves it. And if she didn't swallow it, I wouldn't care. <laughs> but she swallows it. So I have to watch her when she's like this. <sighs> See, she's knocked it into the blanket again. It was on top of the blanket. And now she's folded the blanket over it so that she can... I can't. Rachel! What are you doing? She's driving me bananas! This is what it's like all the time! <laughs> See, she found the actual ball and now she's trying to shove it back underneath the blanket. I can't. Rigel! Oh my god. Wanna know why I'm stressed? This is why I'm stressed. <laughs> One of many reasons. How you doing there, bud? Did you lose it? <laughs> oh, I do know her so well. Oh my god. She's an autist dog. <laughs> oh. Rainbow Infinity Pup. It's driving me nuts. I love her, but she drives me bonkers. <laughs> she just gets in a mood and nothing will sate her like this. Like she just goes out of her way to look for trouble. Ooh. And then I can't relax because she could hurt herself on accident because she's a dum dum with no self preservation instinct. Put your ears down so we know you poured yourself out. I know. What are you doing? I don't know if she's done. I sent you a long list of every allergy med you can buy for a dog outside of vet's office. Steph, thank you so much. That was really sweet of you to look things up. I will check it out. But I don't know. Does she like to fetch? Um, sometimes and kind of. She doesn't quite understand the game of fetch. But if she's in the mood for it, she does like to chase a ball that is thrown. She will often also pick it up and bring it sort of back to the vicinity. But then she doesn't let you throw it again. She's just like, ah, I have this, and she chews on it. <laughs> Over there, kind of near you. <laughs> That's what I usually do to wear out a pet. I did actually kind of play that with her for a little bit earlier. We went for a big, big long walk today. And then I actually did throw them because she was sort of, I caught her in the right mood to play a little bit. So I did actually do that a little bit, but Every once in a while, she's just in a mood. And she might be, maybe she's antsy. I, like I said, she is sort of like had a little bit of a bump starting on her back left leg. So it's possible that she's just kind of, the itching is bothering her and it's making her act out. Possible. But that's also worrisome for different reasons. <laughs> but what am I gonna do? <laughs> throw, no give, only throw. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now I'm worn out. <laughs> now it's me. Now I'm just exhausted. Gotta be so alert all the time for her. To be slumbers <laughs> for now <laughs> but for how long exactly <laughs> oh she might have tuckered herself out a little bit it might be okay oh my god now i'm tired though <laughs> oh i'm ready for bed which is crazy because it's way too early and i never i would never go to sleep this early but there's a part of me that's like what if i did though 
What if I did though, but I won't. I will not. It's only 20 past 9. It's so early. But now I'm gonna yawn if I turn up. So sorry. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. We're gonna try. Just a little. I... Listen, there is no... Nothing. It's gonna be a shit show tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be a shit show tonight. That's what I know. So if you're expecting any actual progress, don't. If any of you are still hanging out here who are gonna play this game, spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm gonna open it. So get out. <laughs> or lurk or mute it and scroll away. You know what I mean. You can stay, but put your headphones on. <laughs> Go sit in the corner. Just chatting stream? I mean, it happens sometimes. Game opened. I did it. I did open the game. Progress. That's about as much progress as I think we're going to make tonight. And that's okay. Woo! Did you answer on if you ever landed on the solar station? Oh, no, I guess I didn't. Uh, no. <laughs> well, I hit it a bunch of times, but I wouldn't say I landed on it. The music is enough. Yeah, I should have just sat on this. This is a really good song. <laughs> the whole, all the music in this game is just so nice. It's just nice and like folksy. I love me some good folksy sound of music. That's some good stuff. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nope, so sorry. Hmm. <laughs> some combination of jittery fingers and my keyboard makes me double type F a lot. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Do I remember anything I did last time? Not a damn clue. <laughs> Not a damn clue. I think I remember that I refound the stupid cactus room at the end, and that's about all I remember. <laughs> I got to somewhere new last time. I got inside of somewhere. <laughs> oh no. Now I can't stop. <laughs> Not my fault. Oh, man. What are we doing? Who knows? <laughs> Not me. Not me, I don't know. How do I even play this game? Un unclear. <laughs> We're just gonna try to land on the sun. We're just gonna go nowhere. What the hell? What? The fuck? Why is the ship <laughs> not <laughs> What? <laughs> what is happening? Why am I not going up? <laughs> There we go. That was weird. <laughs> okay then. That's fine. Again, weird. But sure. But then technology is very reliable. Facts. Okay, here we go. Come on, sun station. I'm too early. No, oh, I'm too far away. <laughs> Oh, it's like higher than where I was. Like, yo. 
Why am I still going away? Hello? Stop it. Come on. Where is it? Oh. What the fuck? No. Oh. That was too close misses. Too close misses? Whatever. Sensation! Sensation! Damn it. Fuck, how am I never near it? I'm lined up pretty good with it, and then I'm just not anywhere fucking close. Okay. Come on, Sun Station! Sun Station! Sun Station! Oh, fuck. I'm like too fast. Maybe I gotta wait. do it. I'm gonna play a game. Have I tried getting good? Wow, Sev. <laughs> what an idea. I'll try that. Thank you. I'm gonna play a game but I'll have the stream volume on. So if you get to the station, yell about it. Okay. <laughs> you got it. I don't think I would be able to hold in a yell if I make it onto the damn sun station this way. But I think it would be. 100%. Actually, that was not bad. That was not bad at all. Uh, the few times that I'd hit it, how far away I was from the sun. That would help. <laughs> Not as close as I just was. But if I, if I give up at some point on trying to nail this, I know who I can ask for tips. Because Oscar made it onto the sun station. I know this. I know this. Alright, try again. Try again! It's called Mission Icarus for a reason. I 
like the sideways bit here. Beyond the planetary disk, solar system disk. Nope, not Russian shit. Take our time. Take our time. See how far in front of us this goes. Still quite a bit. One thing to the side. Ah, come on, substation! No! Damn it! <laughs> Alright, try one more time. We'll try one more time. I got a little too close. <laughs> I peep your ship log real quick. Sure you can. It's looking mighty uh, filled in, Oscar. I'll say that. There's only a couple of things that we haven't been to. One of them being the quantum moon. Um, one of them being... Oops. I assume this is how you'd like to see it. We still got some stuff over there at the Ash Twin Park. We have not been inside of the Ash Twin. <sighs> we still have not been to the High Energy Lab, but I don't know how to fucking get there. Well, I know how to get part of the way there, and then I die. <laughs> so, there has to be something else. Uh, we have yet to land on the Quantum Moon. And... The sun station <laughs> is all that we have that are question marks. That's it. That's it. Just this fucking sun station. <laughs> and then the we haven't been inside the Ashwin, uh, so we haven't like figured out the whole Ashwin project situation room with the statues. And then we have not been to the high energy lab because I cannot get there without fucking getting crushed by sand. Uh, and then we also have not been to the quantum moon. Although we know to get to a sixth location, but we can't land on the fucking boat. Okay. <laughs> That's where we're at. I feel like we're nearing the end of the main game. But I don't think that I have done a lot of the DLC stuff, would be my guess. Oh, don't hit the moon! A very helpful summary. No, not that. Oh, not what I meant to do. Stop it! I want to do a barrel roll. There we go. I want to line up with this thing. I do have the DLC installed. Um, and I did find, uh, like, one or maybe two sort of, like, allusions to stuff in the DLC, but, um, definitely not. I don't think I've, like, been to anywhere. Like, I've just seen, like, sort of cave painting type situations. Uh, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Why are you like this? No! Oh, come on, baby. No! So hard. It's so hard. Shit, too close, too close, too close. I'm too close. I can't get out. I can't get out unless I can. Nope. Damn, I was so lined up with it for so long. I was just so far away. <laughs> Oh, uh, but if I get a little closer, I get sucked in. I need to pay attention to the point where, you know what? Fuck it. This is now, for once, we're actually just going to do what the stream title is. <laughs> we're just going to try to land on the goddamn sun station and it's the only thing that we can do. <laughs> We tried to do a quantum moon one, and you know what? Then we got sidetracked and we didn't do anything. So this time, it's a new year. We're sticking to... We're sticking to it. Here it is. Hey, look, as long as it's fun. <laughs> We're gonna do it for a little while anyway. <laughs> We'll see how fun it is after like the 40th time. <laughs> Duh, yes, Jeff! <laughs> That's right. That is right. I was lined up pretty good for a while though. I just don't want to be going too fast. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about going too fast. Okay, I'm still pretty far away from the sun though, because yeah, I'm not even. Hello, planet. Come on, sensation. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up, sensation. Thirty-four. Thirty-two. Shit. Twenty-eight. I'm too low. I'm too low. Am I? I'm too low. Okay, the sensation's at like just under three. Okay. We're gonna get it. A whisker. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Just under three. Now I have a goal goal height. Sun station. The problem is the time that I tracked it, I think I just was tracking it directly sideways. On the plus side, it didn't snap me. That's true. I really thought it was going to. It sure looked like it was gonna. Definitely what I thought. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Stop it! Put the scout away! Stop it. Too fast. It's too fast. Shit. 
shit, I'm not lined up with it, am I? Oh, it's right there! Shit! Fuck. <laughs> I wasn't lined up well. I thought I was. I was not. I was too high. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Freaking explosion emo every time. Uh, okay. We're gonna do it. Tonight or never. <laughs> Ed, because I missed the previous one. Oh, that's true. That's true, you did. Um, Oscar, are you working on your project yet? Or did you start that project yet? Big fancy project time? Not hit that moon. Do not. Yeah, do a fancy project! Yes! New, new job stuff! <laughs> you started it in September. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't, I didn't want to spoil your announcement. <laughs> but that is what I'm asking about. Yeah, the Fortnite stuff. You're doing music. It's so cool. Whoa, 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 too close, too close, too close, too close, too close, too close, too close. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Saved it, though. Fucked up, fucked up, fucked up, fucked up, fucked up, fucked up. I'm too close. Hard. <sighs> I do love a good rhythm game. I've never played Fortnite, so I don't, I mean, I know what it is, but I don't really know anything about it other than basically what it is. But that's so neat that they're doing a, a rhythm game stuff for it. I actually got melatonin uh, a few months ago, which is also a rhythm game that I saw Hysteria playing. Um, but I just like, I don't know why I'm struggling so hard with some of the controls. Like I just, they have a calibration tool, but I feel like I just have not calibrated it correctly. <laughs> oh, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a cute game. I tried the Lego mode today, it's really cool. Oh, you never played Fortnite yet. <laughs> it's supposed to be watched <laughs> working on bot stuff, but this is so entertaining. I mean, you can work on bot things and watch me repeatedly crash into the sun. <laughs> so kind of a chill stream I'm going for. That is legit. It's a vibe. Okay. I think I'm gonna let it go around one more time. Make sure I'm really lined up well. hung for a minute there on your end oh the stream did my internet keeps going out for like 10 20 30 seconds at a time <laughs> randomly it's so fun <laughs> it's great for stream it's wonderful for doing co-op with friends getting them kicked out of the game or me kicked out of the game Ooh, i'm doing great i'm gonna wait another run
take my sweet ass in time. I'm too low. I'm too low. No, I wasn't too low. Oh my god, it just went right underneath me. It's at 2600. I was wrong. Oh. Oh my god. The thing is, I feel like even if I hit it, I'm just going to fucking bounce off of it like I do every time. <sighs> Oh my god, that was such a good lineup, actually, though. Fuck. <laughs> Who knew? Not me. Not me. Why? Because I'm flying blind. <laughs> I'm looking at the damn surface of the sun so that if it ends up underneath me, I can see what I'm doing. That was actually really, really good. I can't actually believe how good that was. Because I thought for sure I had missed it and was underneath it. And at the point that I thought it was going over me, nothing happened, and I thought for sure that was correct. It was not correct. Although now my measurement is going to be off because the sun's going to be bigger. Fuck. I don't know that it matters. <laughs> I'm going to try to let it go around again. I have to be careful because when I get too close, I start getting sucked in. twice actually because it was at 26. I don't know if I have enough time because this... we're gonna try. quite right, but here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. 
11. Oh shit, I should have gone faster. 12. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit, I'm too low. I'm too low. I'm too low. God damn it. Though I never saw the comet go in front of me, so that's cool. <laughs> Maybe I could just use the comet as a timing element, because that was a lot better than counting. <laughs> hmm. Okay, try again. Nice tonight. This is literally all the stream's gonna be. <laughs> That's it. Just flying into the sun. I can feel it. I'm gonna just go for it early. I'm gonna let myself get down there. I can. Oh, I went too early. I went too early. I went too early. I felt so good about that too. My stupid pointer thing was lined up right over the damn landing pad. to line it up but when I was holding the one button it wouldn't let me push the other button I couldn't line it up the way I wanted to damn it
This is so challenging. Uh, Oscar, when you did this, did you figure it out uh, through your own trial and error, or did you look up some internet help? Oh wait, you told me, I think, didn't you land on it kind of on accident? Did you tell me about this before? You looked up nothing. Made it. Is it the sun station? I'm not sure how I have told or should tell you. <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, that's fair. I know it's there. I mean, you don't have to tell me. I feel confident there is another way to the sun station. It's got the fucking thing on it. So I can whoosh there. I can see that. But. Um. But I feel confident there's another way to get there, but. Also because the achievement says to land on the sun station. So not to get on the sun station, to land on it. So I know I can get there another way. I feel confident, but um, you want to land on it so bad. <laughs> I feel like it came up once. This one command just getting out of hand, so I'm back for sun station talk. Yeah, I, so I was just asking Oscar because I know that he's landed on it successfully. Have you, Whitney? I feel like we talked about this and you have not. Is that right? We did talk about it, but I forget exactly what I said. <laughs> Uh, I also forget exactly what you said. <laughs> uh, I, cause I feel like you, cause I, I think I was like asking about it. Where am I at? 34, that's too high. Oh, I'm too low. Too low. Oh god, I can go so much later. <sighs> Do I consider knowing if there is another way to get onto the sun station a spoiler? I think at this point, no, because I feel pretty confident that there's another way to get onto the sun station besides landing on it. I feel like I feel like 99% sure that there's another way to get onto the sun station without flying directly and onto it and landing it. So no, I think having that confirmed would not feel like a spoiler because I feel very sure of myself. But I appreciate the check-in though. We're far from out of the woods on spoilers here. <laughs> so I'm saying nothing. <laughs> If you really want a piece of info, I'll happily not give you it. Instead, <laughs> nudge towards learning it yourself. That's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to like, I'm not even trying to confirm that there's another way to get onto the sun station. Uh, I feel pretty confident about it, but it's fine if I'm wrong. Um, I, if you have a tip on how to fucking land the ship, not like that, not like that, too close to the planet. Like, whether it happens now or later, I am going to get this achievement and land on the sun station. Like, it is gonna be a thing that I will do at some point. Uh, even if it's like after I've already beaten the game, whatever, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so you don't have to tell me anything about the sun station. I don't wanna like, I don't, I'm not trying to spoil myself uh, in that sense, but if you have, any tips about my current approach and or whatever you did to land on it that worked for you? I feel like I would take that because that does not feel like a game spoiler. Like my objective is clear. <laughs> uh, 
I think. I mean, it's pretty... It's not like, go somewhere else and do something. It's literally land the ship on it is the criteria, so like... I, I feel like in this instance, it's not really anything that's very spoilery. I'm not trying to spoil myself. I'm happy to figure everything out myself. Um, this is just, this feels more to me like a straight up skill challenge, you know? I will not be helping in this moment. That's fine. You don't have to. I respect that. <laughs> Take from that what you will. <laughs> okay. I, I will indeed. Thank you for your not help. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh, I'm gonna be too close. It's not gonna come around fast enough. Nope, it's not gonna come around fast enough. Miss, miss, miss! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I did not miss. <laughs> I, in fact, just went in backwards. <laughs> oh no, I hope you're all buckled up for this killer stream right now <laughs> where we literally only try to land on the sensation for an entire stream i promise you mission icarus we're gonna do it oh i may not make it it might actually be the whole stream <laughs> but don't what a party it's gonna be if i get on it huh <laughs> buckled it tight thank you collector <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome in. Have you tried flapping your arms real fast? No. I have not. Is that the part I'm missing? It's the little flappy flaps? what Outer Wilds is. Just dying repeatedly. <laughs> time after time trying to land on the fucky sun station. Maybe I should, but the sun station is so much faster than I am. Oh, come on. Fuck you. Get here faster. Gonna hit me. No! Gravity! <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, it just eats me. It's like right on the... Who the sun station like that close to the sun who set that up i can't actually orbit things <laughs> it does the orbit doesn't work that was my attempt at orbiting i can't do it oh my god i don't even have to look at that i thought i literally had to click on that actual thing every time i don't
You're that one out. Oh no. Stupid net. Every time I feel so hopeful. And every time I get crushed. My dreams. Going so fast. God, why am I going so far away? Also, what am I logged on to right now? There's no what the no fucking way. I don't even know where the sensation is. I don't know where I am. I'm gonna die out here. Fuck! Get in there! No, I'm so far away! Why am I going away from the sun? The ship didn't even land in the sun, I know it exploded. I know. <sighs> Woof. Uh. I broke the ship. I broke it. Cool. Okay. I still look at it. I don't even need to. I just need to be in here. Budge!
Listen. Too low, too low, too low. I just hit it so hard. I've hit it multiple times. This is like easily the fifth time I've hit the sun station. so fast and I can't figure out how to build up a similar momentum because whenever I go to the side I just yeet myself away from the sun my phone is back on the Wi-Fi oh my PC still won't connect oh it's so frustrating so sorry 